Good morning friends. Today we will be talking about Seward's disease. Now I just, let me just talk about the anatomy. This is the tendo Achilles tendon and this tendon inserts on this calcaneal tuberosity here. Now Seward's disease is a disease of childhood usually seen in children between 9 to 15 years of age. This is usually a calcaneal apophysitis. What that actually means is that because of this traction there is a growth uh, plate here which pulls in the direction of the tendon and it becomes painful. When this becomes painful there are three symptoms. One is it will be painful right here. When we press it here it will be painful. Second squeeze test will be positive. So when we press it like this, this squeeze test will become positive and third you will have swelling in this particular area. Also, the pain will be more with activity and the pain will be relieved with the rest. Now, what we need to understand is this is a problem of a developing kid. So, this problem is a self-resolving problem. As the time passes by, the pain is better. So, in a case of an adult person, the pain will become automatically fine. So, we, the treatment is quite simple we have to give a rest to the patient we need to give ice application to the patient we need to apply some ointment or some gel you can apply some local gel that will relieve the pain also you can give some sort of footwear modification in which you can give a soft soled shoes and occasionally we can also give a silicon heel cup that will be helpful so in most of these cases, most of these patients, the problem is solved by conservative management. Very, very rarely you need to give a surgical option to these patients, which is very, very rarely required. Most of the patients will be better with these activities. The other important thing is they you need to modify your activity. You need to reduce your uh, sports. You need to reduce your running. As as we as we talked. This problem is more common in runners and sports person and you need to reduce your running and reduce your level of sports to improve this. So a little bit a period of reduced sports that is 3 to 4 weeks of rest or abstinence from sports is required. Thank you. Calf stretch is a very good exercise in which you need to stand erect and you have to press yourself against the wall so that will stretch your calf muscles. So this is a very good stretch for Seward's disease.